YouTube. In this video, I'm gonna show you how I go about mixing vocals for a pop track. The song I'm using here as an example is by an artist called Serenity Hayes and it's called You're Not Mine and I'm gonna show you how I mixed her vocals in this record. So let's just jump into it. This is how the lead sounds without any processing. Oh, I know that you're not mine And someday I will so You'll look at someone new I tuned the vocals manually in Vary Audio 3s. First in the effects chain, I have this Isotope RX vocal denoise thing which dampens a lot of the extra artifacts we get in the main recording since it's not very clean. Oh, I know that you're not mine. Without it, it would sound like this. Oh, I know that you're not mine. So as you can hear, there are a lot of low-end and high-end artifacts in the main recordings. So it just gets rid of all of those extra artifacts. Oh, I know that you're not mine. Secondly, I have this main EQ, which is cutting out the main low frequencies. I don't, I don't need anything under 100 hertz. So I'm cutting out all the low rumble noise from the signal. And these two points here are just two resonant frequencies that stood out to me and I could hear that I didn't quite like and they sound like this I'm taming some of the low mids here because they're popping out too much oh I know they and next we have this virtual mix rack. First we are using our VMS module and here I'm using the FG12 emulator here. Oh I know that you're not mine. It gives some extra warmth to the vocals in my opinion and that's what I wanted for this exact song because the song is all warm and about love. And then it goes to this compressor. Oh I know that you're not mine. Which is compressing the main signal quite a bit. Oh, I know that you're not mine. A very slow attack and a very high release here for that extra compressed sound. And then I'm running it through another compressor, Isotope's Neutron 3 compressor. Oh, I know that you're not mine. Here the attack is really slow and the release is slow as well. It's just reducing some extra peaks here, smoothing it out a little more. And then I have this Rvox by Waves. I use it on every vocal. I love this plugin. Oh, I know that you're not mine. The Rvox is really gluing the vocals together and giving it a very warm character that I really like. Oh, I know that you're not mine. And someday I will so die. Then we move on to DSing. I'm using ProDS as my main DSer. Oh, I know that you're not mine. And someday I will so die. It's reducing quite a lot of peaks with the S's and the sibilance. And then we have another DSR which is DSing the harsh nasally sounds along with some more S's and acting like a general shimmer control of sorts. Oh, I know that you're not mine. And in the last, we have another EQ. I have all these dynamic EQ points that are acting kind of like a multiband compression, but instead of frequency ranges, they are compressing specific frequencies here. And these are some of the frequencies that the compression and the VMS module brought back up that needed some taming. Just balancing out the entire frequency spectrum with these. And for the sense effects, first I have this vocal parallel widening that gives a little more width to the lead vocals. Oh, I know that you're not mine. I just have this doubler 4 here. And next I have this short reverb. No, they you're not mine. Which is just a small room reverb. No, they you're not mine. Next we have this 1 4th stereo delay. No, they you're not mine. It's just repeater on one fourth. And then we have this long reverb. No, they you're not mine. Which is just this Valhalla vintage verb, which is getting filtered out with a pro cue. And someday yeah, I so And lastly, this one eighth delay, which is just repeater on one eighth settings and again filtered out. So that's it for the lead vocals. Next, we have these doubles. No. Which are just panned hard left and hard right with the same effects chain. No, they are not mine. 
And someday, yeah, with those eyes. Here we have a lot of harmonies as well and I just have this M double track on all of these tracks and just giving the illusion of it being recorded twice. And all of these harmonies are going through this same vocal chain that I have for the lead vocal. Except the one fourth delay and the long reverb is a lot more on here to wash the harmonies out. <laughs> And in the final chorus of the song, we have a lot of these ad-libs as well. Which are just the same vocal chain with added distortion using decapitator and filtering out some of the extra artifacts that the decapitator brings out. A lot of delay and reverb because it's a very atmospheric song. Here we have the same thing, the decapitator and the Pro-Q filtering some more frequencies out and making it almost sound very telephonic. So that's how I go about mixing vocals for an ambient pop track like this. You can check out the full song in the description and hope you enjoyed watching this video. If you did, leave a like and subscribe to the channel if you're new here. And I'll see you next Friday. Bye bye.